full-time RV on the road for the last six and a half years. And we named our RV Faith, but we never named our truck. Until now. Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlene. And I'm Gary. And we are fast losing light. We are on our way to an evening church service for Lent. And I'm going to have to do this as quick as possible. We pre-recorded some parts of it so that we could fit it all in. We have not named our truck in all this time. We had put out uh, something on our Facebook page asking people for ideas. And um, I guess I always pictured it would be more of a masculine name for a truck. And our RV is more of a, a feminine name. It's Faith. And so people were giving different suggestions and we the one that came up the most often was hope. <laughs> and one of the reasons that somebody chose that was because they said, I hope it keeps on running. And I guess at that point, we just kind of let it go. We didn't continue with it. We didn't keep thinking about it or anything. We just kind of tabled it. Well, a friend of ours named Shelly just got a new truck. And she named it Hi Yo Silver. And I thought that was really cute. And I said, you know, we haven't named our truck yet. So we had all these things going back and forth and she thought she we should call it Bunny because Bunny is like the Energizer Bunny and she keeps on going. Well, again, that seems a little, not as masculine as I was thinking. I was thinking of like a hero name, like a, um, Like a, I don't know, tough, tough name, you know, kind of thing. And so we kind of went back and forth, back and forth. And at one point, um, she said she suggested calling it Reacher, like some guy on Amazon Prime who we don't know. But um, Gary said that we would probably need to have beefier tires if we named it Reacher. So that got out. And then we thought, well, um, I said. Well, what about Ranger? You know, we spend a lot of time in Texas at these churches. We've been serving, this is our fifth church in Texas since we started doing the vacancies. And so maybe we should call it Ranger. And I thought, like, Danger Ranger or something like that. And then Gary said, well, that's a Ford. <laughs> I thought, oh, yeah, Ford Ranger. Duh. Okay. So then we kept going back and forth and back and forth. And then I came up with the name Hercules. I thought that's a really good, strong hero name, right? Then, but it wasn't, yeah, you know, it really wasn't, yeah, no, it wasn't it either. Then Shelly said, well, what kind of a truck is it again? It's a Dodge, right? And I said, yeah, it's a Dodge Ram, you know, Ram tough. And she went, <laughs> and I thought, that's it, we'll call it Ram. That's a good name, right? Because, and then Gary said, well, that's what it's called, is Ram. He's watching the traffic right now. That's why he's not talking. You'll hear him talk in a minute. So we finally thought about it some more, came up with a really good name for the truck. But first, this is a little bit more information about it because we never feature our truck except the breakdowns. So here's info about the truck. So tell us about this truck. What's so special about this truck? The really special part of it is it's ours. <laughs> the next best, next best special part about it is it's paid for. And I suppose the next best thing is it works. <laughs> and it hauls what we need it to haul. So it's, it's been a good truck for us and we can't imagine replacing it at this time. So, Especially with the prices yeah, nowadays. Yeah. So it, it, it's great. It's a 1998 Dodge Ram 2500. So it's a three quarter ton pickup truck. It uh, has the V10 motor in it, uh, which makes it kind of unusual. It does not have four wheel drive, which is fine for us. And almost 99 and 9 tenths percent of our usage of it. So it's, it's worked out good for us through the years, and we've had it since 
2017, uh, the summer of 2017, we don't really know if we're ever going to stop using it. So it's <laughs> it's been uh, been through a lot of repairs and fixes through the years. What was the which, very first one? The day we bought it. The day we bought it, we were on our way back from the purchase about a, what was it, 70 mile trip, about halfway back. Uh, we stopped at a wayside and when backed out of the parking space, it started to do a rumble shake thing. and Made a horrible noise. Yes, so called brother-in-law and found out he suspected it was, uh, the differential go had gone bad on it. So he said, well, you're probably not gonna wreck it anymore if you can get it to move drive it the rest of the way home and get it fixed later, which we did um, for a few thousand dollars. It was almost as good as new. That was an ouch. You don't really want to do, but it was necessary and it served, its, it served us well through the years and really don't have any complaints about it, yeah. unless you do. The only, my only complaint is the stiff suspension. The stiff suspension, which comes with a three quarter ton pickup truck. But the other complaint I've occasionally heard is it smells like a truck. <laughs> <laughs> like an old truck. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It smells like an old truck. <laughs> so the remedy for that has been a little diffuser with some essential oils that we try to keep supplied uh, when necessary because it doesn't always stink. It's just on occasion. Yeah. <laughs> And that works pretty good. Otherwise, the seats were in great condition. There was nothing, no tears, no, I mean, it was it was beautiful inside. What, how many miles did it have when we got it? We had 64,000 miles on it when we got it. It now has 162,000 on it. So it's gotten, uh, we put about 100,000 miles on, just shy of 100,000 miles so far. That's seven, six and a half years. Yeah. And what did we pay for it? Well, that's a little arbitrary. We paid, uh, what was it now? Oh, good. For the, for the RV and the truck together, we paid 15000 That was our cap. Yes. The truck, it seems to me it was under 7000 and I think think that part of the cost of it was the beautiful tin box that's in the back of it for <laughs> tools and other things we take along with us. It's not so beautiful, but it does work. And, and the it's, hitch. Galvan it's galvanized uh, tin, so it, it works good. And the hitch came with it too, the fifth wheel hitch. Yeah. So it was a good deal. I, I, I'm sure we could get more for it now than what we paid for it. Might even get enough to cover some of the uh, repla uh, repairs that we've done on it. Yeah. Uh, there have been a number along the way, which you expect. Uh, we've had to replace the compressor on the air conditioner. Um, we've had to do a tune-up on it. Uh, replaced some wires. And what, bolts? Oh, the, Weren't there some bolts that were rusted in it? Yeah, uh, somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure. In the back end, we've had to, we've had to do uh, shock absorbers twice in the on the rear end. I think once on the front end. Um, the um, radiator yeah. had that go out on us once, so that was replaced. Um, brakes have been done a number of times because somebody didn't do them right the first time, and. We did wear them out a couple of times already going through the mountains and stuff. Uh, so one time we replaced them because they needed it shortly after we got it. I think it was about 40 or 50,000 miles later we had to replace them again, which isn't a big surprise. And then we had to replace them a couple of times after that because something wasn't done right. And then finally we paid enough and got the right guy that we, we got them done right. So they've, they've been good now for the last seven, eight months. Yeah. And other than that, it's just been tires and yeah. oil changes and regular maintenance sure. kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, windshield wipers. Yeah. yeah. All that good stuff. Yeah. 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 So it was a good deal. 
It has been a great deal, and it's still running. That's even better news. And one thing we are not happy about is after the hailstorm, it was painted by a professional, <laughs> but it's two different colors. One is the new part of it is silver, and the the truck's original color is more of a gray. Yeah, the, the from what I understand, grays and silvers are always really tough to match up. However, things can be done to make it look better than what it is, and sadly, it's it's what it is. At least we don't have any bumps in it. We had a gouge in the back quarter panel that's now covered up and looks much better than it did. So it, it looks really nice in that regard. Uh, maybe someday we'll pay some extra to get the rest of the paint done without going through another hailstorm yeah. or, or other things. Yeah, but otherwise it's it's it looks pretty good for its age. There's no rust, Right. very little rust because it hasn't been seen salt. Well, now it now is. Or, now in Corpus Christi, that's one thing we're told that everything rusts here. So, yeah. <laughs> so we might have to give it a good cleaning as so you get ready to leave and then after we're out of the area. Yeah. And the big question that everybody asks, what kind of mileage do you get? Well, it is a 12 or 10 so it is a V10 engine in it and it does tend to use a bit of gas. It does get us up every mountain we've gone up and it gets us every place we wanted to go. And when you are as well up as we are, you really <laughs> don't care. <laughs> that's a joke. <laughs> but the mileage is uh, comparable to any other vehicle that's pulling an RV. It's going to just uh, be what it has, what it is. And so, uh, at the best, we would get ten, uh, maybe on the average around five, uphill against the wind, which happens frequently. Uh, it could be five or six miles a gallon, but. Uh, so far, the important thing is that we've gotten to every destination we've wanted to get to. And whenever we've broken down, uh, for whatever reasons, thank God, it's been some place where we have been able to get it fixed without a lot of stress. No tow trucks, nothing. No tow trucks. Yeah, it's yeah. always been, we've always been in the right place at the right time. <sighs> okay. Oh, when talking about the mileage, it does improve a little bit if the wind is behind us and kind of pushing us. That's always a good thing. Or going downhill a lot. <laughs> yeah. So it all depends on when you mark it and what kind of terrain you're going across and which direction the wind blows. Yeah. yeah. So now you know all about the truck. You kind of get a feel for what it deserves for a name, right? We came up with the name. Are you ready for this? I think it's a great name. I love it. What do you think? I'm getting used to it. You're getting used to it. All right. Okay. <laughs> we decided to name the truck Rambo. <laughs> Rambo and Faith. How do you like that combination? Rambo tough. He's a good tough truck and he's taken us all over the country and he's been a really good truck. So Rambo, Rambo, what do you think? What do you think of Rambo and Faith together? <laughs> Gary is so excited and I'm really losing life. So we got to end this. So let us know what you think in the comments down below. Um, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. And then next to your bell is going to pop up. Ring the bell and you'll be notified every time new videos come up. If you don't ring the bell, you won't know when new videos come up. So make sure you do that. And uh, check out our Facebook page for other things that we don't put in our videos. And until next time, God, God bless. bless.